In this problem, we have the equation the sine of theta equals 2 thirds. And when you're trying to solve for theta, what you would do here is punch in 2 thirds on your cal calculator and then take the inverse sine of that. And we'll do that, uh, but there's more to the answer than that. This problem asks us to find all the solutions on this interval from 0 to 2 pi. And, you know, the sine is positive here in quadrant one because, you know, the y values are positive here. A sine is also positive in quadrant two, and there's going to be a point where the sine, the y value, is at two-thirds in both of those places. So if this is our angle theta, this would also represent angle theta here, so at the point two-thirds. So to to solve this part of it, theta right here, we just type in 2 thirds on our calculator and, and choose the inverse sine. Here, what we'd need to do is take that value that we figured out here and then just subtract it from pi because this is, the angle would go from here to here and what we'd have is pi minus that amount that we just calculated. So let's go ahead and calculate that. I'll bring up the calculator here. So 2 divided by 3. Okay, now hold on. Before we take the inverse sine, we've got to be careful. We're working with radians here, not with degrees. So I'm going to flip it into radian mode. And then inverse sine on the Windows calculator, you press this up arrow, and then the sine's got the little negative 1 above it. All right, so there is our inverse sign. Let's see, we're supposed to go to the nearest hundredth. So we're going to call this 0.73. So that's our first value, 0.73. And this value here is going to be pi minus 0.73. So we can do that on the calculator as well. So punch in pi, and we'll just subtract 0.73, and that gives us 2.41. So we've got 0.73 and 2.41. It's just slightly different with the cosine and with the tangent, so I want to show you those as well. Here we have a problem with the cosine. Uh, cosine of theta equals 0.6542. Again, this one we can uh, solve just by punching this in on the calculator and taking the inverse cosine, uh, but we want to find all of the solutions on this whole interval. So let's think about where the cosine is positive. Those are the x values. So let's say this is our, our angle for 0.6542, and here's our angle theta. The other place that the cosine, the x values, are positive would be in this quadrant down here. So you're going to have the same distance angle here from the x-axis, of theta, uh, for this value here. So this would be also be 0.6542. Okay. And then the two angles are would be this theta and then also this all the way to there. Okay. So that is going to represent the distance of, well, all the way around would be 2 pi. So it's going to be just this much shy of 2 pi. So we'll calculate the inverse cosine of 0.6542, and then we'll take 2 pi minus that amount. So let's try that. So first, 0.6542, and then the inverse cosine. And that's 0.857, so 0.86, basically. And then we'll subtract that from 2 pi. So let's type in pi, multiply it by 2, and subtract 0.86. And we get 5.42. So those are our two answers there. All right, and let's look at one more. Here we have the cotangent of theta equals 5 thirds. And the first thing I'm going to do is turn this into a problem about the tangent. Any of these inverse functions, the cotangent, the cosecant, the secant, you can just uh, turn into the tangent, the sine, the cosine by taking the inverse of both sides. So the inverse of the cotangent is the tangent. So this becomes tangent of theta. And the, the reciprocal, sorry, the reciprocal function, not the inverse, the reciprocal of 5 thirds 
is 3 fifths. So when we find the solutions for this problem, they'll be the same as the solutions for this problem. All right, now let's think about where the tangent might be 3 fifths. That's a positive number. So it could be in the first quadrant. You know, the tangent is sine divided by cosine. If both of those two are positive, you'd get a positive result. So let's just throw out um, a line to represent that. And let's call this theta. Now let's think about this tangent for a moment. The tangent ratio is the opposite over the adjacent. So if this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side, it's the same thing as the rise over the run. So this tangent ratio really gives you the slope of that line. And that's going to be true down here as well. So if you just continue this line at the same slope, that would be uh, where you would put the tangent down there. So here's theta. This is going to end up being, this angle is just theta. This angle is going to be pi plus theta. So for the first one, all we need to do is take the inverse tangent of 3 fifths. For the second one, we'll take whatever value we get there and add pi to it. So let's try that. So 3 divided by 5, and we'll take the inverse tangent. So we get 0.54, and then we'll add pi to that. So 3.68. So that is how to solve some trigonometric equations using a calculator.